if you, ah, somebody just give me like 20,000 euro, only 20,000, my life will be sweet forever. Really? Hallelujah. If you have one million, everything will be sweet. Really? Are you sure? Go and ask people who are billionaires. They have billionaire problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, let's go on. Let's go on. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yera shabarata kiadaza. And came and preached peace, verse 17, to you which are with far off, and to them that are near. For through him we both have access. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By one spirit unto who? The Father. He said, Now therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners. But who are you now? Glory be to God. We are fellow. You need to know who you are for divine manifestation. I am a fellow citizen of the saints. Not sinner. Saints. Not sinner. Saints. If you are a sinner, I'm telling you that that is not, you don't belong there. You belong to the, you are a fellow, you are a what? You are fellow citizen. You are of the citizenship of the saints. I'm not talking about what you are doing, you are doing as a sinner. Mm, that's the, I, I'm making you know, do you know, if somebody back home where you came from, whether Nigeria or anywhere, if all of a sudden, Somebody just woke up to you and said, well, I know you have not been told about this, but, uh, well, it has been ordered uh, that uh, at this stage, I should let you know that you, let me take an example of Nigeria, for example. You are actually not a Nigerian. Uh, this is your passport. Uh, you are actually an Austrian. So we just say we should come and give you all the documents. This is a uh, this is your passport. Do you know what will happen to that person? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If the person maybe they added uh, a ticket that well, whenever you are ready to come to come home, uh, this is your passport and this is your uh, ticket. Actually, you even have a house in uh, Austria. So, well, that's all I came to do. He will just say, bros, wait. Are you going to Austria now? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> are you going to Austria now? Let's just go. <laughs> you are not going to greet people. Uh, let us go. From there, we greet them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You let us go. Me, I will call them from there that, uh, hey, how are you on the other side? Praise God. From the other side. <laughs> Amen. Where are you? At one house now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the person doesn't want to be far from home. That is what there is no time for criticism. So when somebody is in sin or living a contrary life, tell that person that look, I want to tell you who you are. You are a citizenship of a place called saint. You don't say what you are seeing, we go to hell. No, you are a saint. Oh. It's not your business calling the person a sinner. He will fight you after some time. Praise the Lord. So that as the person begins to hear that, oh God, this is where I belong, and he believes in the word of God by faith, his life must transform. That is why I gave you that example. The person will say, bros, don't, you are going there, Let, let's go. You will say bye-bye, I will say bye-bye later. Praise God. You, you want to be where you belong. Yes, yes. Then from there, you can call. Say, okay, what's going on? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Something will change for somebody. Yeah. Look at that scripture. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Where do you come from? Where do you come from, people of God? The household of God. Which citizenship are you holding? They can't say it. Of what? Which citizenship are you holding? Praise God. You didn't read that scripture. Praise the Lord. Did you read the scripture? What is written there? Fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. 
You are of the citizen of the saint. What did I call it? That is your sit. That's your spiritual citizenship. Come on, see I here. Yes, your citizenship. That's your spiritual cities. And you know the spiritual will always control the physical. But a lot of Christians don't know. So you are far. You are closer to your pastor than God. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You are closer to your prophet than God. You are closer to that person who speaks in tongues 24 hours. He, 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 and you, you, are, you remain far. Why will you not be, you know, misused by some wicked men? The Bible calls them wicked and unreasonable men. Because you are dependent on man. You will not learn. You will not engage what it takes to come close to God. Let me conclude this scripture. I, I want to read it with you because, you know, hallelujah. Verse, I want to read verse 19 again. It's, it's, it's bubbling inside of me. He said, Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. I know where I come from. You know, he took that prodigal son. To now record that there's no place like a home with money, there's no place like home. Verse 20 You are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ Himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto and holy temple unto who? The Lord. You, you become a life that God wants to dwell in. You are a home for God. Home, home. The, the Bible says the kingdom is nigh thee. Hallelujah. You, 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 you are carrying divinity. What are you carrying? You are so you something is following you everywhere you are going. <laughs> and you influence your world with that thing following you. It's divine. It's what? Divine. That is your build up. If you don't know your building, I'm telling you, according to God's word, you that's your build up. And if you think you are not there, please recognize it and begin to form. The Bible says you need to be conformed. Do, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. Amen. You should conform to the word of God, which is able to build you and bring you and bring you to an inheritance among the saints. The word of God builds you up to have your inheritance. I'm showing you your inheritance. For you to have it, you need to be built up. Can I hear an amen? You begin to obey the word of God. For every every life, everything you do. Hallelujah. God becomes the reason why you do them. You are not waiting for anybody. You are just, you are built up. Glory be to God. I said glory be to God. In whom all the building, verse 21, fitly framed together, groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built. You are built together for an habitation of God through what? The spirit. the spirit. Glory be to God. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's your nearness to God cannot be substituted for going to church. Amen. Even though church is important. When you come to church and you are still far from God, you are just making efforts that are not bringing any benefits in and that's why a lot of people in church are not being changed they are not transformed there is no god they have a form of godliness but they deny the power thereof hallelujah yeah. a kind of godliness that god does not understand a kind of godliness that harbors pride and all kinds of uh, you know things of the flesh praise the lord yeah. 
please understand the blood of jesus christ brought you nearer to god you are able to enjoy the covenant of promise according to the scripture we read the blood brings you into the citizenship of the saints amen, amen. the evidence that you are not far from god is when you have peace in spite of any circumstance you are facing every time you are enjoying peace is telling you that you are not far and i'm not talking about he say you know he told you i'm not talking about the peace of the world about jesus christ said it's not as the world give that's what i'm giving i'm giving you the peace from god different from you know, if i have more, that's not what i'm talking about being near to god means you allow yourself to be divinely built up praise the lord and of course god is able to god the father is able to dwell in you shout hallelujah now listen to me if it has to be about god i'm talking about the communion if the communion has to be about god then most of necessity be about jesus christ and you can flip it if this communion table has to be about jesus christ then understand that it is about god praise the lord now we know generally yeah that according to jesus you can only reach the father through the son am i correct so god came up with this idea of a son given to the world who will die sacrifice himself and then god will raise him praise the lord and when that came he became the property i don't want to let me make it simple he became a personality for us to be close to god you know god is a consuming fire are you with me it's a loving father but it's also a consuming fire and it's okay to go close to the to the fire as much as it is convenient for you to enjoy some things warm because when it becomes hot you may be burnt hello so that's why i said near amen so you just be near enough to enjoy the light that he gives you to enjoy the warmth he gives you to you know praise the lord but jesus christ he, he brought us to the benefits of being with god hallelujah i mean i'm talking about his presence say with me his presence in john chapter 14 and verse 6 john 14 and verse 6 jesus said i am the way the truth and the life then he said something very profound no man comment on to the father but by what Amen. by me hallelujah no man no man no man it has to now in this dispensation it has to be by jesus christ hallelujah that's why if you are listening to me or you're watching me in any of our media and you have not given your life to christ you're missing out of all what i'm saying amen you you need to come on board you need to give your life to christ you need to start living for him or by him praise the lord you have to impact this world through the lord jesus christ hallelujah Amen. it is not about just confessing him it's about you living the life that he has offered you glory be to god that's that's the beauty of it being able to impact your world with the life that jesus gave you shout hallelujah so on if you want to come to the father it has to be through the son it will only take salvation by jesus christ for any man to reach god hallelujah Amen. i said hallelujah Amen. look at this scripture jesus said in matthew chapter 11 and verse 23 matthew 11 23 uh, rather 28 matthew 11 verse 28 matthew 11 verse 28 come unto me you see come unto me 
all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you what? Just like that man. He had to come near. So God is calling everyone including you who are in church. Those of you who are out of church. Those who are in Zion and out of Zion. The Lord said you should come in. Come to me. Come. Come. Don't be far. Those of you who are not born again hearing me wherever you are. God said come near. I have a lot to give to you. Praise God. Come on to me. All ye that labor. That guy was laboring and crying. Jesus, son of God, have mercy upon me. Until he came near, there was no change. When he came near, there was a change. And he maintained that nearness for continuity. I'm praying for somebody. As you partake of the communion today, may you begin to experience the nearness of God. And grace to maintain that nearness may be impacted upon you. Amen. Say, believe in amen. amen. He also says something in John chapter 7, verse 37. John chapter 7 and verse 37. He said, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, if any man first, let him do what? Him. let him come near John 7 37 if you know you want to drink you need to it takes you God is calling for your nearness at all times you want to drink come near then I'll give you amen, amen. come near and drink you can't be a, you can't be far away I want to drink you need to come near to drink praise God Hallelujah. I said praise God Hallelujah. so every time God is saying come Come near. Don't stay far. I want to build a relationship with you where we can talk. I want to feel you and I want you to feel me. Hallelujah. Amen. So important. Now, there is something about the presence of God. Hallelujah. And it cannot be substituted for anything else. There was this story about the centurion. You remember this centurion soldier? Yes. He, he, met with, he met with Jesus Christ and uh, uh, he said his servant was sick and uh, he wanted healing for for the servant and then jesus said okay i will come and heal him i i will come and heal him praise god amen. and he said something profound that sh that was so important to jesus amen. amen he said no 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 you see i'm a man under authority uh, where i live i am the authority i tell people to go they must go if i tell them come they have to come it's a house where i give authority but if you come there i can't have you come under my authority but but send the word only and i know it will happen Amen. and then then you know like wow wow everybody say wow i can't hear you say wow that was new to him was like really you mean you know everybody was clamoring for the presence of jesus christ I'm praying for somebody. May you ask for something that will surprise God and it shall be released to you. Amen. It was surprise. Now, the word of God is potent, very powerful. Amen. But I'm trying to bring another dimension to it. Amen. Because Jesus spoke the word and healed that person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you see, there is something about the presence. Amen. Amen. The presence. The oh, say the presence. You see, Jesus Christ said something. He said, "He that sent me is with me." And I told you, even though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death. I will fear no evil for thou art with me. There is a presence that cannot make you be afraid. There is a presence that changes the authority of the house. Satan can have authority over your house but he can heal somebody in your house. I mean God can heal somebody in your house but what if Satan has authority in your house why don't you want a presence that will bring a divine government over your house hallelujah Amen. oh because you don't want to lose your position you better lose your position for God 
Praise the Lord. Let him rule. Let him rule you, rule your servant, rule everything so that there can be sanity. Hallelujah. Amen. Until Jesus reigns, there will be sufferings. There will be disappointment. Wicked men, they will thrive. Satan will have a field day until Jesus rules. Hallelujah. Amen. So let, let him rule. If I were him, I will collect the presence and the healing. Hello. I don't know whether you are something. Jesus said, okay, let me come. Let me come and heal him. But I will. <laughs> you say I should do okay, no problem. I, although what you are saying is powerful, you will still get what you want. Take it. What presence? Presence. I want God to tabernacle with me. Hallelujah. I, I, I want him to be there with me. If I go to hell, I want his presence there. Because his presence will shield me from the, the, the terror of hell. And he will bring me out. If I go down the pit, he will bring me out. Because he is with me. Say it with the presence. It's important. So let's not be going for It's okay to go for power if he gives you no problem. But go for his presence. His presence will always command power. For signs and wonders. Don't lack his presence in your life. Don't go to church and they cannot see God in you. Don't be a Christian that cannot show up God. So Moses said something. Moses said, if your presence does not go with me, don't send us. In Exodus chapter 33, you can read it yourself. Exodus 33 and verse 11 to 15. Exodus 33 verse 11 to 15. He said, if your presence will not go with me, don't send me. Ah, don't send me. I need your presence. If you will go, no problem. And God said, okay, my presence will go with you. I pray that as you partake of the communion, may you begin to command the presence of God. Do you know what is this presence? Let me tell you. And you will like it. First Chronicles. Verse 16. And verse 27. Let me tell you what is in this presence. First Chronicles. Let's read together. First Chronicles. Verse 16. Uh, chapter 16. And verse 27. Are you there? First Chronicles. 16, 27. If you are there, shout hallelujah. Let's read together. One to go. Glory. And honor. Come on, let's read together. I want to go. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Shout hallelujah. How many of you like glory? I want glory and honor. I want my life to be glorified. I want my life to be to be to be honored with his presence. I don't want to be weak. I want strength. So that I can deal with the issues of life. I want gladness. I don't want to be wallowing in sorrow. You will not see sorrow. Amen. That is his presence. I don't want you to. You just heal me today. I will be laughing. Tomorrow I will become sick again. The laughing comes to an end. But his presence. Glory. Honor. Strength. Gladness. May that be your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in Psalm 139 and verse 7, I will take it to 14. Let me just read this to you. Psalm 137 and verse 7. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whether shall we go from the Spirit, or whether shall I flee from his presence? If I ascend unto the heavens, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take my wings, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Say amen. amen. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but 
The night shineth as day. The darkness and the light are both alike unto uh, thee. For thou hast possessed my realms. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee for I am fearfully and what? Wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and uh, that my soul may your soul know it well. May your soul know. That is where we belong, God's people. There is a man in John chapter 13 and verse 23 to 27. John chapter 13 23 to 27. That man, the Bible says he is always putting his head on Jesus' uh, uh, you know, chest. Amen. Amen. When they wanted, they were asking, who is it that is going to uh, betray you? Peter asked that particular disciple. He said, boy, since you are the one that is near, ask him. Ask him who is the person. You know Peter, he <laughs> praised the Lord. He said, because since you have access to that chest, you are always lying down there. Please ask him. Who is the person that will do the thing? The guy just asked him. Come, come. Let me show you something. This drama is very sweet because that's how I played in my head. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is Jesus. Amen. This is Jesus. Amen. Amen. And uh, me and that uh, that disciple. Come close, come close. Then me, I'm always here. Amen. Amen. That's Peter there. Peter is over there. That is far. But they are all around. And because I'm always here, and Peter is telling me, ask him, who is the person that will betray? betray? And I said, Jesus, you know you just said that uh, somebody will, will uh, betray you. Uh, who is that person? And then Jesus just said, well, uh, you will see the person. I will dip into the soup. Once I dip that person, it will be the one. That's the person. The guy got the secret news. I pray may divine secret be revealed to you. Amen. And so he did not make it known. Then he watched Jesus. Jesus dipped his hand, and Judas dipped his hand. So the only person that knew. The only person that knew that it was Judas was that person who was nearer. I'm praying for somebody that in the name of Jesus may you be nearer. Amen. First hand secret will be made known to you. Amen. He's the only person the rest don't know. The next thing they had was that Jesus just spoke to Judas. The thing you want to do uh, quick, go and do it. Others were thinking that he sent him to go and buy bread. Uh -huh. <laughs> or he sent him a message. Meanwhile, me. I know. I know who be the person. He is going to do bad thing. Uh -huh. Praise God. Yeah. I want to prophesy for somebody again. That in the name of Jesus, this will be your place. Amen. I said I pray for you that this will be your Amen. place. Amen. Where Jesus will be whispering secrets to you. What others don't know, you will know it. Amen. Do you notice that he didn't start telling them? Oh, yes. his he didn't tell him. No, it so it was a trusted place. Yes. Jesus trusted yes. that person who was near. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not somebody just opened his mouth and talk. We didn't hear him boasting. Oh, Jesus always tell me, he doesn't tell all of you. All of you are sinners. You are not better than me. No, just take your place and enjoy your place. Rest. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That is the place where you belong. Yes. Where secrets. You will be hearing the voice of God talking to you. And you will just be living life. Yes. Amen. Yes. You are not intimidating anybody. You are just living life. That is what I pray for every one of you. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you partake of this communion, the blood and the flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that 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 lovely place 
will be your place from henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Are you blessed? Glory be to God. Nearness to God is your place. Rise up on your feet and begin to decree, Lord, I, I take my place near to God. I take my place. Lift up your voice and pray. I'm taking my place. I take my place. Pray, pray, lift up your voice. Enteli makarabashaba. Mazagore motebra rishara gerebosia. Zizarabakatahabara de deboshia. Begin to pray, Lord. Begin to decree it. Begin to declare it. And I am of the, I am of the citizenship of the saints. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, I receive that divine provisions for the nearness to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to decree I belong to the household of God. My life is flourishing. Hallelujah. My needs have been met. I cannot beg. I am not lacking anything. <laughs> oh, I am tabernacling with the Father. My home cannot lack. Let us say, Begin to decree and declare. Begin to appropriate yourself into what the Bible says concerning you. I am in the place of the secret place of the Most High God. Oh, glory be to God. I am in the place of revelation. Ha <laughs> ha. Mazaka la pombre di steleke yabo sahaba. Oh Lord, ah, your presence is going with me anywhere. I cannot lack your presence. Oh God is tabernacling is with me. In the name of Jesus, I am walking in his presence. Hallelujah. Oh glory be to God. Mazalindre shkabra di la rosa. Mazakinde le koroboshata. Oh Lord, thank you. The voice of the Lord is not far from me. The ability to hear God at all times. I can never be far. I am not far. I am not far. I am prospering. Everything is working in my favor. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Now, listen to